Friday. I only had one class today in the morning, so I just did a huge load of laundry and I also did my sheets because I have not done my sheets in a while and then I washed a bunch of my clothes so the plan is to put the sheets on the bed right now it's my absolute least favorite thing to do ever because having to do it on the top bunk is so difficult we'll do that I'm gonna vacuum the room because we also have not vacuumed in a very long time and that is the plan <laughs> the bed i messed up the lining with the comforter and the duvet so i had to do it all over again i'm sweating so much right now so i'm gonna um, vacuum the floor and then i'm gonna have to shower because like it's like i did a whole workout or something <laughs> I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do my skincare now. Since I have the time, I'm gonna do a little face toner pad thing. I have not done this in such a long time. Also, I'm so sniffly. I think it's because I vacuumed and like all the dust is like now just like flying in the air. I took the mask off. I also called my mom, which is why my hair is basically dry now. Also, I've been listening to Spot by Zico and Jenny on repeat. It's such a good song, oh my God. I'm gonna finish blocking because I'm leading a cover to Magnetic by Islet with my friend. We split up the blocking in half, so I'm doing the first part. So it's like I have to do all the formations for the dance. And then I have to actually learn the dance because we have our first practice on Sunday. But I just basically watch the video, look at the formations, pause it every time they like switch. like. They keep switching, so... I just finished sorting through my clothes so i'm going to see my friend min for dinner and then i'll be back hi guys we're going to take a trip to target and it's the middle of spring but we're oh you're not wearing your winter yeah, coat no, I'm not going to. I'm wearing... it's too hot i'm wearing my winter coat but it's... reference it's 61 degrees <laughs> outside yeah, it's 61, but I've become a Californian who, yeah, wears, so who wears a puffer in 60 degree weather. So, see you there. Yeah. Golden dragon fruit. It's so good. It's just like a really sweet version of a pink dragon fruit. It's, it's, it's like way better than a pink one. Yeah. So since I am donating slash selling my clothes tomorrow at Buffalo Exchange, I've been going through all my clothing and trying to see which ones I want to keep. So I've been experimenting with cutting my shirts. So a lot of people do it, so I actually cut like my other shirt. So this is the bottom of it. This is like a really old shirt that my dad used to wear when he was in college or something. This was like tucked in the back of his shelf and he never wore this shirt. So I asked for it as to use it as a dance shirt. Then I stopped wearing it because the length was kind of awkward. So let's see if I can revive it. I have not worn this for a really long time, so. 
Yeah. of this trip was to go to Buffalo Exchange but then Community Goods happens to be right around the corner so we're here. This is good. It's not like super sweet. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. It tastes healthy. Healthy? Yeah. Probably not healthy but we also got sliders so we're gonna try them too. Oh you were Swedish candy. It's like all over TikTok right now, so we're gonna see if it's worth the hype. <laughs> we're gonna rate Swedish candy. This one seems to be like the most viral. It's like a strawberry pomegranate. Who's the other flavor? Barma. Really like pillowy. <laughs> yeah, it's like really chewy. My this is like the candy my mom likes. I filled my bag thinking I would be able to spend my fifteen dollars from Buffalo Exchange, but they don't accept cash. So I just bought fifteen dollars of candy with real money. This is a sour one. This one's good. Well, I think one of my favorite jelly flavors is Coca Cola. It has a really strong Coke flavor. Water jelly. Okay, well. That's it for our rating. I recommend to come, but it's once. not like, once. yeah, go once. That was like a full throw experience. <laughs> For my film midterm, the assignment is to develop a syllabus for an American history course that meets one time a week and lasts 10 weeks. I have to find readings and films because it's a film class that represent an aspect of American history. I'm kind of struggling with finding what I'm going to talk about. I was thinking of doing something like Asian American history. I'm just going to do a lot of research. I feel like whenever I've said this before, but like when starting an assignment, I feel like the hardest part is choosing your topic and researching about it. But then when you actually get started and you have all the resources, then it's easier. I still have to finish learning my eyelid magnetic dance because we have our first practice tomorrow at 6 p.m. and I'm leading the first half so I need to know the dance and the blocking so I have to go over that at some point. Tomorrow also from 12 to 4 p.m. we have like a all team beach social. Three of the open style like competitive dance teams are gathering together because we usually don't do that so I either have to wake up early or just somehow cram it in before 6 p.m.
When I run, you just drive away. Come on now, you can do better. I'm at Anderson right now. I just did a psychology quiz. I worked a little bit on my film midterm. That's due this coming Friday. Now I have an hour until my dance practice. And I realized that like every place on campus is closed right now for food. So I might just have to get a bunch of snacks from the vending machine because I have danced till 9 or 10 today. So that's gonna be like four hours. So I'm gonna head to the dance studio now because I need to finish fully learning my part since I did not finish that last night. I just got out of my psychology class and I came to the Luskin Hotel because it's like kind of nearby. I'm gonna stay here for like 45 minutes and work on my midterm paper thing and then I'll pick up my pizza and then probably just go to Wooden and practice my dance. Yesterday we did one half of the dance so today we're doing the second half so I have practice for like two hours and I also have to finish my philosophy quiz that's due at 6 p.m. So I have a lot of stuff to do. until my k-pop cover practice i finished learning the second part of the dance i also submitted my philosophy quiz so everything that i need to do for today is done i'm actually in here with julian but he's busy working on his choreography so we won't interrupt yeah so i have my k-pop cover dance practice from 5 to 7 pm then i'll have my competition open style dance team practice from 7.30 to 1 a.m. Busy day, but we made it halfway through. Hi guys, I'm at practice. Yes, yes we yes. are. Yes. We're at practice. It's 12 a.m. and we ended an hour. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Life of a student dancer, right, Olivia? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tag me. Tag on me. YouTube. Yes. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower. It's currently 2 a.m. right now. I finished dance. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm tired, but I also have to let my hair dry. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thanks for watching. Bye.